What's up, guys? So, I, as you can see, I have started building our first actual house that we're going to stay in. And I decided actually against going onto that island. I actually picked an island that's right across the river, so we can go over there and do some exploring. And uh, later on, I think I, if I find some cool places over there, like possibly that sweet-looking rock right there, I might... Uh, farm up a bunch of stone and build some kind of stone castle over there and, and, and then eventually move over to that island. But for now, I decided against going onto that island uh, because it is, it's not as dangerous as where we came from, but there is still like scorpions and raptors and stuff up there. And, and then in the previous video, I did see a carno. So I decided to come over here to one of these smaller islands. I'm not sure if you can see that on the map. Uh, actually, it says my pen is not even is in the ocean. That's weird. Um, but anyways, I came over here to one of these smaller islands, and I decided to do this because there is plenty of wildlife. It's easy to defend. I haven't seen anything but dillos over here, and there's a ton of trees. Yay, the trees came back. Actually, awesome. That's going to lead me right into my next point of why I came over here. Uh, so last night... I cut down every tree on this little island and they regrew which I figured they would so basically what that means is that I I have an endless source of trees and I'm assuming these rocks will regrow and even these uh, plants right here will regrow that's kinda why I scrunched all of my stuff right here uh, at the very tip of the island so yeah what we're gonna do today is I'm actually going to tame a trike. I'm gonna get this trike right here. Ah, server lag. So I'm gonna tame this trike, and he is level 49. I'm gonna make arrows. I do not have enough trank arrows, so I'm not gonna get that trike. Let's look for a lower level trike. Typically you want to go for the highest level animals you can, but honestly this is just going to be a workhorse, so it, I'm not really worried about that because um, I'm going to use him to farm berries and it won't be, and fiber, and, and I'm not going to need a ton of that stuff, you know, mainly just for any dyes that I want and to feed the few herbivores that I actually have. And then, you know, the fiber for building stuff. Oh, better kill that Dillo before I start fighting a trike. Come here, little bastard. Level 11. I'll, I should be able to take him, no problem. Come on. Die. Come on. Just die. All right, there we go. I got to be careful not to hit this trike because I don't want to piss him off. Dude, get off my food, bro. Come on. Oh, level 13. That's the one I'm going to get. Might need a little more trank arrows for that. Let's see here. So I'll just make some real quick. I need some thatch, fiber, and flint for arrows. There we go. There we go. Ooh, a big dino poop over there. Nice. Let's see here. So arrows. Make. I can only make two. Come on now. Oh, I didn't even need to make more arrows. Okay, so let's make... There we go. Now we got a pretty good amount. Wiki says 6 for a level 20. And we've got 13. Now, I want to make sure that when I, I shoot this guy, I don't piss any other trikes off around here. Because the trikes... Especially the higher level one, like that 50, probably could kill me. And I, mainly, I just don't want it destroying my stuff. Oh! I gotta be careful in these waters because. Oh no. Uh, these waters are actually infested with megalodons. And I don't want him to fall asleep in the water, and I don't want him to get me killed by a megalodon either. Oh, he's running away. Don't go in the water, buddy. Don't go in the water. Don't go in the water. There we go. He was going towards the water. Holy crap. All right, so 
we got this guy down, and I don't have any medjo berries on me, so I gotta run and grab some medjo berries. Would have been pretty convenient if he was closer to the base, but that's all right. So uh, I'm just gonna throw some medjo berries on this guy, and I'll show you guys quickly the mechanics of how you tame an animal. And then I'm going to get some more wood and some materials to finish off that fence right there. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do it because it's a little bit tricky. It's not as actually as easy as you would think it would be. Uh, Metro berries, Metro berries, Metro berries. Okay, so the way you actually tame an animal is you knock it out like I just did. So he's asleep. He's not dead. And um, the best thing I can say to whenever it comes to picking the right food is just go to Arc Wiki. If you type in the dinosaur, it will tell you, um, you know, what foods are work the best, how much you'll need at what at like level 1, 20, uh, uh, 1, 20, 50, 75. So it'll tell you how much narcotics and food you need, and it'll tell you which foods work the best. So the best thing I can say is when you decide on a dinosaur you want to tame, just, uh, you know, go over there to Arc Wiki and um, look up what you need. So basically what you're going to do here is he has... This meter, as you can see, a taming meter, and he's got the unconscious meter. And you want to keep that unconscious meter from hitting zero, and he has to st stay unconscious until that taming meter fills up. He, uh, he will eat. I'm using medjo berries to tame him. He will eat the medjo berries, and it, it says a level one needs a hundred, so I put. 200 in there because he's uh, level 10. He'll probably need more, so I'll, at some point I'll have to farm up more. Basically, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to let him eat those medjo berries until the taming meter fills up. And then I uh, will have to make sure the unconscious stays down or stays up, I'm sorry. And you can also watch it here. Torpor stand. I'm not sure what torpor stands for, but essentially what it is is his unconscious level, so you don't want that to hit zero. Um, it, I'm going to use narcotics for this. You can also use narco berries. Um, narcotics are a little more efficient, and then you also get experience from creating them. So I suggest you use the narco berry, or I'm sorry, the narcotics. And basically, what I'm going to do is whenever it gets low, I'm just going to click the narcotics and then click remote use. Now, I just used one on him, so his torpor is going to go up 40. The torpor goes up 40 from each narcotic you use so be careful not to use too much of the narcotics like right now he's at uh, 300 um, ba 399 basically 400 and his total torpor is 430 so I don't want to use one right now because that would be more torpor than he actually even has so I'll let it drain a little bit before I actually give him another one and then um, that's really it there's lots of tricks that you can read online that say starve him until he until he's not hungry anymore um, and and then and then feed him a bunch of food and I don't see how that saves any time. Um, yeah, I don't see how that saves any time. I really don't. So yeah, you can Google it and see if if any of the tricks work for you. The only trick that I that I use is that whenever his taming meter starts to get high, I stop giving him narcotics. Um, I mean, of course, I make sure I still give him narcotics if he's going to wake up. I don't want him to wake up, but I try to use the narcotics sparingly once his torp his taming meter gets high because, um, you know, I don't want to waste the, the narcotics. I want to try to conserve as much as of, of it as I can. All right, so I am going to, ooh, there's lots of these, so I should be able to get one, uh, make a saddle for him once I get to level 75, level, I'm sorry, not 75, 35, I believe. So I'm going to go ahead and farm up some wood and start working, getting things ready to uh, work on that uh, on that wall. And then I will be right back. Okay, guys. Uh, actually, still sitting here just farming up some materials to finish off my wall and uh, still working on taming this trike. Um, but a perfect example of another reason why I decided to go onto this island. Let's go ahead and just give him two of these real quick and then run down this island is this these supply drops you can i've been seeing them like crazy around here uh, on all these different islands because there's a bunch of islands out here um, not just this one that i'm on but i've been seeing the supply drops like crazy 
and they have been uh, all over the place. So I can get to them pretty easy because of my boat, as long as I'm the right level to uh, pick them up. So we're about to get one. It's going to land right on our island, which is super convenient. That never happens. <laughs> um, and yeah, I've been getting some cool stuff out of them. Actually, I got... Last night, I got a uh, uh, the plans to make a trike saddle, so I'll be able to make a saddle for this guy, even though I am level 20, so I could research the trike saddle anyways, but I don't have to now, because I got that plan to make it. And then I also got a Parasword uh, saddle plan, so I don't have to make either one of those, um, I don't have to research either one of those Ingrams, and I'll be able to make both my dinosaurs a saddle. Uh, so that's probably what we'll work on after we get the... The, the base finished and the uh, and the trike set all tamed up. And it's gonna it's coming down right now, and I don't know if it's gonna land on this rock or if it's gonna go if it's gonna just barely miss the rock. Um, I should be able to just climb up and get it if it does land on the rock, or I can always just destroy the rock. I don't think it's gonna land on the rock though. It's gonna land on the dodo. Kill the dodo. Oh, it didn't kill the dodo. It did land on it though. All right, let's see what's in this thing. Cool, some uh, some wood uh, some wood stuff for my house, so that's cool. And ooh, a wood hatch frame. So I, another blueprint. I don't have to learn that. Uh, probably wouldn't learn that anyway. I threw that blueprint on the ground. That was stupid of me. I probably wouldn't have learned that one. Um, at least not for a long time, anyways. Uh, just because I don't really need one. Uh, it's kind of an aesthetic aesthetic thing, so if I wanted to make one to make my stuff look cool later, I could do that. But now I can do it now if I want to, and it doesn't really cost me anything. All right, guys. So I'm just wanted to quickly show you that, and I'm going to go back to uh, farming and making sure this guy doesn't wake up. It is going to take a while. Uh, uh, Arc Wiki says level one 47 minutes, level 20 130 minutes. So, yeah, this will take a while, but uh, I'll come back whenever I'm ready to start working on that wall again and show you guys how that works. Okay, guys, so I'm going to quickly show you how uh, to set up this the fence, the, uh, the actual fence that I'm going to build to keep animals out of my little village that I'm building. One-person village. <laughs> I want to quickly give a shout-out to Bob and say thank you, Bob, for uh, being my mule and refrigerator because he is literally so full right now he can't move he will not move at all uh we got him chopped full of fences and and wood walls so what we're going to do here is this is a wooden fence uh wooden fence foundation so uh, i'm going to stick these on here and the way this works is you can actually see I've already done it on the other side. You lay a wooden fence foundation down, and it will actually snap to the uh, the gate. And then you can put the wall on top of the uh, wooden fence foundation, and the wall will snap to the fence foundation. And as you can see, I built it all the way down here as far as I could. Probably could go a little bit farther, actually. Yeah, I will do that eventually. Um... And the idea is that I just want to wall this part off from any dinosaurs coming from inland that are already on the island. They'll have to swim around. And then eventually I will get a bunch of megalodons and fill this whole area up with megalodons. So anything that tries to swim around will get eaten by sharks. So, yeah, that's, a, that's the plan. So let's go ahead and do this. So the way this works is you just get over here, and it's a little tricky. It doesn't want to just snap right to the right location, so you got to kind of fiddle with it. Uh, uh. And again, I suck at this kind of stuff, so there we go. Snapped right to it. All right, so now I'm just going to set a... I'm gonna, actually, I'm going to set a couple more of these down so that I can just set walls down on top of them. But, um, yeah, that's the basic principle. There we go. Oh, that one was easy. Nice. Oh, nice. Now, this is uh, uh, this right here is something you want to keep in mind whenever you're selecting a location to build your base at. Because I've done this with uh, in places where there was vines and stuff on the ground. 
it gets a little bit difficult with all the grass and everything in the way because like right now I'm picking these plants and because they're in the way but uh, you can't just do that in some locations sometimes there's just vines and grass all over the place and um, you won't be able to just pick them up so you'll have to try to set them down and you won't be able to see what you're actually doing it's a total pain in the ass so just keep that in mind whenever you're picking your location I mean if you find the right location and, it, and it's got all those it's got vines and stuff don't let that scare you away because it, it's still doable it's just a, a little bit more of a pain in the ass alright so I'm gonna stash these fences and run down and check on my trike real quick and then we'll come back and we'll lay some walls down the last time I looked at the trike it was about halfway done and I have not I, I, there is a setting to turn the ti the dinosaur taming up on the set server, and I have not turned that up. Um, uh, it would make it a lot easier if I did. Looks like we're over halfway. I'm going to go ahead and feed him one narcotic and then run back. Now, um, I actually always end up using more narcotics than what the... Arc Wiki actually tells says you'll need for the level of dinosaur. So I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, or maybe it's that starvation trick that people were saying. I just don't. I don't think that's it, to be honest with you. So if anyone knows why I always end up using more, just drop a comment below and let me know. So we're gonna lay some some the rest of these down all the way to the end of to the end of time. This is actually really easy. I kind of struggled with them to get them all lined up yesterday, last night, whenever I was building the other side. All right. It probably actually would have been smarter to put the gate over on this side rather than on that side, just because there's more room. But, oh well. Maybe later I'll come back and build a second gate. Uh, now, I've got to be careful coming in here because I'm kind of weighed down, so I might drown. And then also, i got to worry about megalodons because this water is full of megalodons. I don't see any right now. Oh, see, there you go. Got to be careful doing this. I just set that in the wrong spot. All right. Get some oxygen. Take a look around for megalodons. Oh. Freaking bird scared the shit out of me. All right. Let's not do that again. The water makes it difficult because you're moving around and floating around and stuff. So... Oh my gosh. There we go. Woo, I got it. Nailed it. All right. Oh, almost done. I want to go out to that very edge. Ah, uh, so annoying, frustrating. Okay, get some oxygen. Try this again. There we go. Woo, got it. Woo. All right, only one or two more. Probably just one more. Yeah, it looks like it's just going to be one more. Is that a pearl? I'm not sure what that is. You know, it's just a, some kind of shell. OK. 
Okay. Come on, thing. We're almost done. Got it. All right, yeah. So that is the last one. Now we just need to lay some walls down. I'm gonna stick these back over here. I can't put them on Bob because Bob is so full. He won't take anything else. All right. Now, with the walls, you want to be careful not to set them on the, not to put them where they're looking backwards, facing backwards. So like you can see over here, all of this is uniform and we've got the inside facing the inside. And then we've got the outside of the wall facing the outside of the wall. I did the same thing with my house and it's, it's actually, I mean, that sounds like it would be something easy, but it's actually, I mean, if you're not paying attention, uh, it won't, it's not as easy as it sounds. And I'm probably actually gonna do this first one backwards just because I don't know where so set it down and I got it right all right awesome so uh, I, I if you do have it backwards you can actually just push E and it will flip around but uh, it looks like um, I don't know where that one went. Ah, okay server lag but it looks like I can just go down the line and set these all up and they're gonna they're gonna be uh, correct I won't have to worry about Oh, okay. That was weird. I won't have to worry about, um, you know, flipping them around and making sure the inside is inside, which is good because that just adds uh, another level of complexity that I hate dealing with. So, all right. Well, that's how you build the wall. And I'm going to build this wall probably all the way. I'm going to stack another layer of these all the way up to the top on both sides of them. But I'll do that later because I still need to finish... Um, I don't even have a, I haven't even completed the ceiling on my roof. So yeah, I need to finish that. And, uh, and actually those were windows that I got in that drop earlier. Not, I thought they were a trap door frame. It was actually a window frame and a, and a window. So that has a lot of use. I'm going to take a wall out, uh, two walls out of my house and stick those windows in so that I can get some light in there. Uh, that way I don't always have to have a fire burning. Alright guys, well, I'm going to uh, just continue farming up wood and finish this house while I'm tar taming up this dinosaur. And we'll, we'll be back whenever the dinosaur is tamed. Okay guys, so this guy should be waking up pretty soon. I'm just going to stand here and wait for it to, uh, for him to wake up. And uh, if you notice, it says taming effect effectiveness 48.9 percent and that's going down over time uh, uh, you can't really prevent it from going down at all uh, do, using knocking them out quickly with like trank arrows that's gonna that's gonna keep it up high if you if you punch him um, you know if you knock him out with like the rocks or with from a slingshot or if you punch him out with oop, I'm getting cold or if you punch them out with your fists, you know, that, that lowers it. Any any kind of brute force is going to lower it because it knocks them out slower, so you have to do it more. So just the more damage he takes, uh, the lower that for, that taming effectiveness is going to be. And then also, the if you see right next to that, it says plus three levels. He He's going to, the higher that taming effectiveness is, the, the more bonus levels he gets once you, once the tame is complete. So as of right now, he's gonna be uh, get bon three bonus levels just from me taming him. So he'll be go from 13 to 16. So um, there's not much you can do to keep that from lowering it from from lowering at all. But you can keep it as high as you possibly can by using you know trank arrows and uh, you know you know using narcotics, feeding them the right foods. The faster the tame goes, the the lower it's going to be. So if you can get some kibble and and the and the ripe food that he really likes, then yeah, that's going to be the best. So now we're just kind of waiting. It's almost done. I went ahead and made him 
a saddle saddle right here the saddles are good because if you notice it also gives him plus 30 uh durability so even if you don't plan on ever riding the dinosaur if you can make it a saddle i'm sorry it gives him plus 30 armor so even if you don't plan on riding him if you can make him a saddle it, it it's going to keep him alive better because you give him a little bit of armor And if you notice, his unconscious level is over half. Typically, I would let it drop from here whenever he's so close to being tamed. But I decided to go ahead. I had a bunch of extra berries on me just from uh, coming out here and farming. I had a bunch of narco berries. So I just threw them on there and, and, and remote used them so that he could get that last little bit to push him through. And he is right on that line. He is almost done. Come on, little buddy, get up! There we go! And I am going to name him Barry, because primarily we're going to use him to farm berries. So why not call him Barry? Hey, what's up, Barry? Le Barry is level 16, just like I said. And we're going to put the saddle on him. And I've actually got this skin for the saddle, so we're gonna put that skin on the saddle. Oh, I gotta put this saddle back on me to do that. There we go. Um, what the hell? Okay, so for some reason, that's not working. Oh, it's because this is for a parasaur. I'm an idiot. Okay, oh well, I don't I don't need that skin. So now we've got Barry. Sorry about the loud rain and thunder. Not much I can do about it. Uh, but yeah, the reason I wanted to get Barry is because, one, he, he has a, a good amount of weight. So he's almost got 400 weight, which is well more than what Bob has. And Bob is, I think, level almost level 30 if he's not already so he's got a lot he can carry a lot more stuff than Bob and then Barry is going to be good for farming these uh, farming uh, farming berries and fiber uh, so if I just come over here I'll be able to get all of these plants with one click oh I'm dying I'm dying okay Barry we're gonna have to leave you out here it's too cold for me I gotta get in my house. Need some food. Dang. Okay. That's crazy. I've never had it be so cold that it was literally killing me. So I need to put these ceilings up real quick. And I'm still cold. Nice. Eat some more food. Okay. What does it take to make a campfire? I need some flint and stone. And I think I got some in my boat. I'm gonna die. Barry followed me all the way over here. That's crazy. Oh, come on, please, please, please. Please don't die, please don't die. Oh. Ooh. 
okay. I'm still cold, but I'm not freezing anymore, so. Oh, man, that was nuts. All right, so I'm going to wait out this rain and darkness and coldness, and then uh, I'll come back whenever we can do a little bit of farming with Barry, and I'll show you how that works. All right, guys, so it's daylight. I'm not dying from the cold. I did live through that, which is crazy. Talk about quick thinking. That was a really good example of why you need to have an established base because that cold will kill you quick and there was nothing I could do except for start two fires and stand inside my house. So that was, that was, uh, that got pretty crazy quick. Anyways, back to what I was talking about. So I can just stand in, in these bushes and I can just right click, I'm sorry, left click with, uh, with Barry and he just farmed all of those bushes. So, and I think he actually gets more berries out of the bushes than I do. Regardless, he, it's obviously quicker because I can just get all of them at once. So now I'll be able to get tons of narco berries to make lots of, uh, of narcotics, get levels that way. And then also when I, whenever I need to tame something, I'll have all the narcotics I need. And because I built on this island that is super secluded, I don't have to worry anything about, I don't really have to worry about anything killing berry and I can come out here and I can farm all of these pretty quickly and then they'll respawn in, in a couple hours or however long it takes you know I, they'll always be here um, I'm not sure how long it's gonna take for them to respawn but I can always I mean it doesn't matter so yeah that's really cool so I am going to just finish getting these bushes and I'm gonna work on finishing out the base a little bit I want to raise that wall I want to put the windows in and then I'm going to lay down a couple things uh, that I need, uh, like fire pl cooking pots and stuff like that. Okay, guys. So we're back. And you'll not believe what's happened since the last time I started recording. Uh, some crazy stuff happened. And long story short, I had to do a reboot on the server, a uh, restore on the server. And it restored me to 5 p.m. yesterday which is actually before I had even started making dyes or anything. I was level nine after the re restore. <laughs> so, yeah, I have had an adventure today, but the good news is I am back to level 20 and I have made it to the island again. I'm back on the island and I'm going to start executing the same strategy that I had said. Now, uh, another advantage that we have now is well actually not another another but an advantage that we have now is that my friend ZK he has uh, made it onto the server and he came and he's helped us uh, we farmed him up a bunch of fiber so that he could just make hats and um, yeah so he got level 13 uh, pretty quickly because he was with me um, you know he was making hats and then he was with me making boats and stuff like that so we got back to the island um, I do have us a building um, we have a new Bob, and he's level 63. So Bob came out on top on this one because last time, Bo last I left Bob before the restore, he was only like 27. We don't have Barry. I'll have to go get us another Barry, and we don't have a wall. But I will go ahead and rebuild the wall and get another Barry for the next episode. So um, in the next episode, we're gonna set up some crops, and uh, we're gonna I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in an efficient way of. Uh, what all you need and how to efficiently do it. We're going to have to build an irrigation system and we'll probably go around and get some of these supply drops that have been dropping all over me. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to drop a comment below and tell me uh, you know, if you have any ideas for better islands or better areas for me to be setting up base at. Don't forget to hit that like button and thanks for watching.